Hey there, welcome to The Breakthrough Creative. I'm your host, John McDavid, and this is the place where we talk about the business of art and the art of business. In today's episode, I want to share with you why you may want to consider working as an employee for a company in your field of interest before you start your own business. Now, when I was eight years into my professional career, I had been a subcontractor and I was cobbling together income and business. And I found myself in a position where I just bought a house and money was tight and I, I needed to do something different. So I took a job at a toy company, a company that actually designed and manufactured their own products. And, and they did more than that. I'll get into that in just a little bit. But what came out of that company and that experience uh, ended up, to simplify this, ended up being uh, anywhere from thirty to $50,000 worth of income every year since, since I worked there. Maybe there was like a three or a four year period there where it wasn't that much, but... But think about the return on that. I, I don't think I worked at that company for more than six months. Uh, but when I left, I kept them as a client. So there was income coming in at that point. And then there were two people in particular that left there to go to uh, separate companies. And they brought me with them. They brought my services and my business with them. And if 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 I told you you could have a guaranteed, I mean, nothing's guaranteed in life, right? But this is how it's worked out when I look back in the past. thirty to $50,000 worth of income, that slice of the pie of my business, uh, and, and it was just going to come out of relationships that you had, wouldn't you take that in a heartbeat? And, you know, that's just one of the great benefits that can come out of working directly for a company. Uh, particularly when you're young. And before I get into the reasons why you may want to do it, uh, I'm going to ask you if you're watching on YouTube, would you please uh, subscribe to the channel and would you hit that little notification button? I think it's a bell, right? If you hit that little bell, uh, it'll tell you when new episodes have been posted. And then uh, if you're listening on Apple Podcasts, would you please follow The Breakthrough Creative and leave me a five-star rating. And if you could write a review, that would be fantastic too. All of that helps. All right. So what are the seven great reasons you would want to work as an employee for a company before you start your own business? Well, let me run them down. The first one is, is it gives you a schedule. It gives you a schedule. Uh, I would say for me, particularly when I was young, didn't have a schedule. And I think the idea of being an artist and maybe the false romance of being an artist is, is I'm my own boss. I'm free. I can do my own thing. I am not tied into anything. I can work all night if I want. And a lot of it is based on feelings. And I would say that feelings are, are, are great. It's part of being a human. But if you rely on your feelings uh, to run your business, don't know that anybody who does that, whether they're an artist or not, is going to have much longevity in their field. So uh, why does a schedule matter? Well, a schedule is something that keeps you accountable and disciplined. If you don't want to get up, whether, whether you went to bed at 7 the night before or you went to bed at 4 a.m. before you've got to be at work at 8 a.m., you need to be there. I guess you could choose not to, but you're probably not going to have that job for very long, or you're going to go through your sick days or whatever. But uh, it's just a, a really good thing to have a schedule. It started to change my life incredibly once I was really married to a schedule because it it, it just it gives you discipline, it gives you accountability, and it, it changes your attitude, maybe uh, matures you a bit too, okay? All right. The second great reason is, is if you're working somewhere, they're going to pay you a wage. That means whether it's hourly, whether it's salary, you're going to be getting a check in probably two weeks. Probably every two weeks you get a check. You're either going to get a paper check or it's going to be something deposited to your account. And it provides you resources 
to live your life, which at that time in my life at 26, I needed. I needed that because I, I, didn't, I didn't have the answers for regular income at that point. And so I had to go work for someone. And you want to make sure as best as you are able to work in the industry in which you want to start your own business because you're going to learn all kinds of things. And I'll get to that in future points. But that's really, really important. If you can't, then get as close as you can next to it. And, and if you've got to get a job just to get a job to work and to earn and to have a schedule and to earn a salary, we'll do that too, okay? And then you can be working on the side on your own business. Now, one of the other benefits beyond salary working for a company is, is they may have health insurance. Health insurance is really expensive. It's always been pretty expensive. I guess it's kind of over the top now, and, and it was over the top maybe 10 years ago. I was paying for health insurance for my family and I through my business. And I'll tell you, between the premium, between deductibles, between uh, you add in medication, if you've got to get any kind of medicine, uh, and then if if you if you've got dental and optical, great, but you usually have to pay out of pocket a chunk for that too, because that kind of insurance isn't isn't really spectacular if you have a lot of work to do. But I was paying twenty eight thousand dollars a year out of pocket to to make it go for me and my family. Now my studio was making an ample amount of income, so I could afford that cost. But you know that's something to think about is is the benefit of working for somebody else and and getting that health benefit is huge. And then on top of that, you may get paid time off, like sick time if you're not well. Usually the longer you work there, the more time off you get. Uh, and then there's vacation time, right? It'll actually pay you to give you a break so that you can either take time off from work or, or go somewhere. Maybe they're going to pay for you to learn stuff. They may pay for you to go to school. Uh, there's all kinds of financial benefits that come from working for a company before you start your own business. All right, the next point, point number three, and I just kind of hinted to it in point number two, it's you're going to be paid to learn. Now, maybe they will pay you to go to school. They'll pay for you to learn some skill or something, but you're, you're going to be there and you're being paid at whatever level you come in at, and you're going to be learning stuff. You're going to be learning new practices that you didn't know before. When I started at this manufacturer, I had never been around injection molding machines or blow molding machines. These are, are two different types of plastic molding that are important to my career, to understanding. And I had access to engineers so that I could ask them questions about uh, how things were made. How could we do it? What if we did it this way? I, I could then be creative with them and, and shout out suggestions and see if it was something that would fly or not. And, and then I could make mistakes. And that was okay because I was learning and they, they could correct me. And if you're in a healthy place at work, that's going to be more of the norm, by the way. If, if you're a younger person and you have ideas and you have somebody that will uh, speak into you and guide you and lead you and encourage you and correct you, you know, there's a lot of a lot of great benefits from somebody like that. Now, there that person isn't at every company, but you need to look for that kind of person because they're going to help you too, and they're going to help you learn. So you're really being you're being paid to learn on their dime. Now they're getting work out of you. They're they're getting they're getting uh, that's the exchange, right? As you show up certain times, you promise to get certain amounts of work done. Uh, and sometimes that's crazy, right? Because the projects are crazy, but you're learning then even how to manage that. So when you work for another company as an employee, you're getting paid to learn. And if you're not looking at it like that, I'd encourage you to look at it like that because it's going to benefit you as much or more as it's going to benefit the company. And then it's a win-win for everybody, right? All right. The fourth point is uh, you are going to learn how to work collaboratively. You're going to learn how to work collaboratively. You're going to learn how to work with other people. And when you're learning how to work with other people, it means that you're, you're taking a slice of the pie, right, that is yours to work on to, to finish a project as a whole. And you're going to be seeing how 
everybody else does their part or at least what they bring to the table and how it all fits together and you're learning how to problem solve with everyone and it's a lot more than than you're going to experience on your own you're going to see how other people think and how other people do things and then we also need to be able to work with other people if if you can't work with other people if you can't play well in groups you're not going to last very long in a company and you're probably not going to last very long on your own because if if you're not there to serve people if you don't come with an attitude of serving even if you're the best in the world at something you do a lot of people just are going to go i don't want to work with that person because they're too difficult so working collaboratively is huge and you know my next reason number five kind of goes with the collaboration and with being paid to learn and all that stuff you're going to see how how problems are solved you're going to learn how problems are solved and you're going to develop uh, skills to become a detective for solving problems and that's what business is all about right that's what working is all about you're 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 filling a need. Another way to say that is you're solving a problem. And when you're young and you're green, and when I say young, maybe you're a young artist. You could be 50, but you're kind of new to art and to design. And so you're younger. And you you could be 18 and you're a young artist, right? So so I'm talking about the, the development and maturation of your artistic and, I guess, business skills as well, right? Because we can be young there too. But you're going to see how your applied creative skills can solve problems. And that's just a, a wonderful thing to experience on somebody else's dime. Because you have a little bit more leeway for making mistakes, right? Uh, and, and there's a bit of a safety net under you. Uh, and that leads to my sixth reason, which is when you work for a company you're going to see how business works from the inside. I was able to get a glimpse into how we worked with freelancers, how we worked with vendors, how we communicated with China for manufacturing, how we communicated internally for our own manufacturing. There, there were things that I learned by working at this toy manufacturer that I never would have learned otherwise. And it was just such an incredible benefit to be able to uh, pick up all of these business practices and and apply them then to my own business, which was uh, uh, still kind of fledgling at that point. And that leads me to my final reason that you may want to work as an employee for someone else before you start your own thing. And that is you are going to make important contacts at the company to make important contacts. What does that mean? Well, I had these two people in particular. There were a lot of really cool people at the company, but there were two people that I connected with who, uh, one was my manager and one was a, a, a cohort uh, who was another designer. And after, after a fairly short period of time, I decided it was time for me to leave because I, I had good things going in my business. I had learned all that I felt I could learn from this company, um, which probably wasn't true. I probably could learn more, but it was time for me to go. And I actually asked, hey, if I were to leave, would you would you just continue on with me as a freelancer? You're going to save money on certain things, but you're going to pay a little bit more for my time. And, and they were fine with that. And I had a good relationship with them. So always leave on uh, a good standing with someone, okay? But I, I had them then as a client. And it was fantastic. And then things uh, happened just economically with the business and, and it was starting to power down and they went out of business eventually. But these two people that I had a relationship with went to other clients uh, uh, or became other clients of mine when they went to new companies. And that's where that kind of built in 30 to 50,000 a year for my business has come from. And it's, it's just an amazing thing. You find people that you like, you find people that like you. you, you guys like to work together. They understand you and what you can offer 
And then when they go to a company, they're going to bring you along because people want to work with people who they like. And people are going to want to work with people who are reliable. And people are going to want to work with people who are able to get the job done. Okay. And so, so there were all these uh, amazing things that came out of working for this company. And just, you know, in review, gives you a schedule, it pays you a wage. You're going to be paid to learn on the job. You're going to learn how to work collaboratively with others. You are going to see how uh, problems are solved and then learn how your uh, applied creative skills can solve problems. And you're going to see how business works from the inside and you're going to make important contacts that are going to be important to your new business down the road. And, you know, it's just been a, a wonderful experience that I had in my life that, that benefited me in so many different ways, uh, even to this very day. And so I ask you, where are you at? Are you, are you in a place where you're just ready to start your own business or you think you are and maybe this is changing your mind a little bit and, and you're thinking, okay, maybe, maybe I'll go work somewhere for a little while and learn what I can there while I'm earning some and then, you know, keep my business going on the side. Of course, you want to be cautious, right? And you want to be responsible and and professional and you, you don't want to undermine the business you're working at where you're working there and you're kind of you're doing something that you shouldn't be doing as far as uh maybe maybe they don't want you doing if you're working in a a, a candy factory a candy company they don't want you working with the competition as a freelancer so you know be aware of things like that just watch what you sign when you start at a company but as much as you can be free be free and work on the side and keep growing your business. But I think it's a really, really good idea to consider working for a company in the industry in which you want to start your own business and service uh, before or alongside doing your own thing as you can. All right. All right. That's it for today. Have an amazing, amazing week and we'll see you next time. Cheers.